Oh my god. That is for sure something else. It just lost so much power. I don't know what's going on. Now it is really hot. Ooh. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Monday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is the 1000 kV pulse module review. What can it do? How amazing is it? How much voltage can it take? So let's get it. By the way, all product reviews right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. I'm gonna give this a special review because this is the biggest module there is. The 1000 kV is legendary. Two bucks, 60 cents for this. They state that it's 1000 kV, 1 million volts. This is insane. And it's not true if you want to find out more about that, check out this vlog in which I measured it. And it can take 3.7 to 7.4 volts, which is basically two 18650 batteries. And one of the purposes of this vlog is not only to find out how much you can push this, I also want to clear up, well, I want to find out if I made any mistakes in the last vlog, in this vlog in which I measured the freaking modules. To recap, I was a bit disappointed with this one because it's not that different from the tiny round pulse module, which is a 400 kV module. The spark lengths were pretty much identical 16 mil for the round one which can only take up to six volts and 17 mil for this bigger one and I was like oh my god this is way more expensive it's bigger is this real life so one of the questions that I asked was maybe you can push it further maybe just step up the input and maybe go for eight volts, maybe even 10 volts. So this is one of the questions. Can it take more than 7.4? And also maybe it just needs more amps because what I found out in my last Flame Fist vlog in the blast nozzle module update, it got clear that my power generator is not sufficient to power two ignition modules with two amps. So I think I need four amps. Well, enough said. Let's get to a few experiments. With only one 18650 battery, it's actually quite lame. as the max spark distance is around around 15 millimeters, just a bit over 15. So let's try two. First of all, let's try two in parallel. It seems that the spark distance has actually increased a bit. Yeah, it's a bit over 16 now. So it goes to show that you also need the amps. But now let's put them in series. This might have been a fatal mistake in the measuring test because I clearly only had two amps of power at my disposal, which might be way too less. Oh my God, that is for sure something else. Damn son, okay, so let's try that. Oh my God, what's going on? It's making very weird sounds. But the gap itself, oh my God, I just messed that up. Oh. Oh well, have a look at that. It's actually 20, 20 mils right there, but it's not really able to get 20 mil. It's only able to get 17 mil, which is actually the exact thing that I stated in the measuring experiment. So I'm quite happy with that. It actually cannot do 18. What? It is behaving very, very weird. It's just making weird noises now. It just lost so much power. I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, it's quite, no, it's not hot, but it's a bit warm to the touch, just a bit. Maybe it needs to cool down or something like that. I got a few comments stating an overheating issue. What the hell? Let's move on with the experiments. It is for sure a bit hot, but no rest for the wicked. Let's bring the DIY full bridge rectifier. If you're interested in this one, then check out the last vlog right here because this baby is done and I'm kind of proud of it. Let's start with eight volts. And the cool thing about this rectifier is that this thing is definitely up for the job, rated up to 10 amps and to double check the voltage. Let's measure and now let's have a bit of fun. Okay, I'm ready for the first test. That is so weird. Is this thing already dead? I used two 18650 batteries. This is, I don't know, this is so disappointing. Double checking the connect if you take a close look right here, you can see that 
is going up and then down very, very quickly. That means that this thing is definitely doing something. It's burning the energy because if I disconnect this wire, for example, I activate it. First of all, it goes up way higher. And also these capacitors will store the energy for quite some time. And if I connect it again, it plummets. It's clocking in. Oh my God, it's clocking in at almost nine volts right there. Is this thing already dead? Let's bring it down to six. It's a bit disappointing. I think it's actually, it's actually already dead. Ooh, now it is really hot. Oh my God, it is easily 60 degrees centigrade. Oh yeah, it is massively hot. So I think I just broke this one. Fairly positive about that. One last test with only one 18650. Nah, I think it's dead. Dead for good. And it is really, really hot. So it goes to show that you need to be very careful with these things. They cannot take more than the specified value. Two of these 18650s, well, I'm not even sure if, if they can take that for a longer period of time. I think the best value for these modules is actually six volts. You will get the best results with six volts. Well, I got the best results. And the next plan for the Flamefish, for example, is to build a way bigger battery pack and then connect step up or step down modules to the pack to come up with six volts for the ignition modules. So yeah, I'm pretty positive that it cannot take more. It can do a bit more than the small one, of course, but not really worth the surplus expense and the surplus size because this is way bigger. Good thing that I made this experiment. I thought I made a mistake. I was like, maybe this thing can redeem itself and maybe this thing has hidden superpowers, but nope, it's, it's not really worth it. I'm not really a fan of this one. As you can see, the capacitors are still holding the power. That's why I have my little resistor right here to discharge it. Hell yeah. Very well. So yeah, to conclude this experiment once again, this thing can take two 18650s, but be careful with that. Don't overdo it. It can surely handle short bursts, but as you saw, it did not take long until it was dead. So that was my review about the 1000 kV module, which is more likely a 30 kV maybe. But anyways, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I smash this, this module. Bang the bell like crata to never miss product reviews. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.